Associated Ag Report for Monday, August 8, 2022. The BLM has recently announced that it would indeed allow bison to graze six allotments in Phillips County, Montana. The American Prairie requested about five years ago that the BLM allow it to graze on seven allotments it owns. According to the BLM, a total of approximately 63,500 acres of BLM-administered lands have been approved for bison grazing. The release of the final grazing decision initiates a 30-day BLM appeal period. While the American Prairie praised the action, several Montana ranchers believe that the BLM is violating the very purpose of the 1934 Taylor Grazing Act, which established rules for grazing on federal lands. U.S. pork export sales shot higher during the week ending July 28th. The USDA says sales of 31,000 tons were up more than 40% on the week with significant purchases by China and Mexico. Soybean meal also saw an improvement with the Philippines picking up more than half of the weekly total. All other major commodities were down, including a net reduction for old crop soybeans after cancellation by unknown destinations and marketing near lows for cotton and rice. Export sales are influenced by a variety of factors, including currency trade, seasonal demand factors, and international politics. Physical shipments of corn match what's needed to meet projections for the current marketing year. Wheat came out at 249,000 tons, or 9.2 million bushels, down 39% from the week ending July 31st, and 55% from the four-week average. Unknown destinations purchased 80,000 tons. Indonesia bought 70,000 tons. For the 2022-2023 marketing year to date, wheat exports were 303 million bushels, compared to 300.9 million in marketing year 21-22. Corn was reported at about 58,000 tons or 2.3 million bushels, a drop of 62% from the previous week, but a rise of 31% from the four-week average. Japan picked up 53,800 tons and Mexico purchased 36,200 tons. Net beef sales totaled 12,000 tons, a decrease of 52% from the week before and 30% from the four-week average. Have plans to put in a new fence or build a deck or maybe plant a tree? Well, make sure you're calling 811 before you dig. August 11th is National 811 Day and One Call of Wyoming wants to remind residents to call prior to any digging project to have underground utility lines marked. Homeowners and contractors should call 811 at least two days prior to any projects to put in a request. Striking a single line can cause injury, repair costs, and inconvenient outages. Call or click before you dig. It's fast. It's free. It's the law. Do 